Cases of the Omicron variant are surging. According to the CDC, Omicron now accounts for more than 73% of all U.S. COVID-19 cases. That's up more than 60% from just the week before. With Christmas and New Year's approaching, the surge is cause for concern. But earlier on CBS Mornings, Dr. Anthony Fauci said, while there's always some risk, vaccinated people should feel comfortable celebrating with loved ones. Let's get this straight for people, because there is always this concern that we're saying, well, you, no one can enjoy the holiday because of the Omicron. That's just not the case. If you were vaccinated, you're boosted, your family's vaccinated and boosted, you could feel comfortable in the home setting of a dinner or a gathering together with family and friends who are, in fact, vaccinated and boosted. He said he does too, but the holidays means more than people, and in the holidays people will be traveling. It means more than just gathering with family, and that traveling could increase the spread of the virus. The U.S. put eight more destinations, including Spain and Finland, in the high-risk category for travel, bringing the total to 88 countries. That's most countries. Millions of people are expected to travel over the next few weeks. Already, the TSA says the amount of travelers is more than double what it was last year. For more on this, I want to bring in Tori Emerson Barnes. She's the executive vice president of public affairs and policy at the U.S. Travel Association. Eight locations, including Spain, where some of my family members were headed and now they have no idea what to do with their tickets. Uh, and there's many places in the Caribbean, too, that were added to the CDC's list for high-risk travel. How much does the CDC's designation for those places affect airlines and how much will they provide service to and from there? Sure, so we continue to, to see uh, three in 10 American travelers wanting to travel over the Christmas holiday. And if you are vaccinated, if you are boosted, we do think that that is safe. We heard Anthony Fauci say that today. And quite frankly, air travel really is safe um, with the air filtration systems, with the masking requirements. I know I'm personally planning to travel the day after Christmas. And I think, you know, with boosted and vaccines uh, a really widespread, we just encourage everyone to take that layered approach and, and, and watch out for yourself. So in terms of traffic, what kinds of numbers are you expecting to see come through the airports in the next couple of weeks? Sure, we're still seeing uh, high expectations for travel this uh, holiday season. We have um, seen TSA numbers actually over the last five days continue uh, to stay steady. Uh, we also know that, um, you know, as I mentioned before, three and uh, 10 American travelers are planning to, to travel for the holidays. We do expect more travel by by uh, by driving than by air, um, but still pretty uh, consistently, uh, folks are planning to to continue out um, with their lives. And again, this really underscores the need to uh, continue to be vaccinated uh, to to get that booster, and uh, and then you can be able to travel and, and have that normalcy in your life. So we think that uh, again, Harvard and uh, DoD. Uh, both Mayo and Mayo Clinic all have studies that say how safe it is to travel if you have that layered approach to health and safety. So again, uh, we are expecting to see pretty strong numbers over the holiday season. Now you have to think about, I mean, our vaccines here seem to work. We have to think about the impact of traveling and possibly passing on the virus to other countries where the vaccines are not as good, where they're not working as well with Omicron. That's certainly a concern too. Well, now, again, terms, the, layered yeah, approach, the layered approach is really important. You know, wearing that mask, being vaccinated um, and getting boosted is, is really the best way, again, to, to normalcy. And so if we continue that, I mean, to, to travel domestically uh, or even internationally is, is you know, we're, we're focused on welcoming folks here to the U.S. Um, we just need to make sure that we do our part, that folks are vaccinated. Uh, and quite frankly, to come into the U.S., you have to take a, a COVID test within uh, one day before you travel in. And so that's another great indicator um, on the layered approach to health and safety. Right. Now, in terms of pilots and crews, how's the airline industry handling the holiday season after being forced to make so many cuts because of the pandemic already? 
you know, I mean, the, the airline industry is doing well, but I think that it's important, obviously, that um, that folks have patience. I think that, you know, we are still staffing up throughout the industry. Um, one in uh, six jobs uh, are open within the industry. And so really getting folks back in requires stability uh, within the industry. And so when we have these um, surges and, and changes in the direction of rules um, and recommendations, it's really, it's really a challenge for the industry. So we want to make sure um, that folks do get vaccinated, that we continue um, on that layered health approach to health and safety. Um, you know, the airlines are prepared for, um, for this travel season. And, and I think that, that, that with the health and safety precautions that are in place, um, folks can be confident in their travel plans over the holiday. Well, Tori Emerson Barnes, thank you. Key, be vaccinated, get boosted. Absolutely.